Hello everyone, welcome to this casual video uh, wherein I want to announce that I have launched a new course on Udemy that I have been working for quite a few months and people who follow me are already aware what I've been working on. I've shared this publicly in past videos and past posts as well, even on the Telegram community. Uh, so the course name is like you see on the screen, it's full stack DevOps uh, for uh, developers and uh, it covers multiple clouds, uh, mul it's multi-cloud course uh, for uh, AWS, Azure and uh, GCP by Google. Okay, so this course is already live and you will find the lowest price coupon which is uh, launch discount available in the description below and it is available for a limited period of time. So be sure to check the description if you wish to uh, enroll in the course. Now people who are not aware or if you want to know more about the course, uh, let me tell you what this course is all about and how this course is completely designed. Okay, so first of all, see why DevOps and how does this course differs from all the other courses out there. So I was I was uh, I thought a lot before launching this course and before deciding actually if I should work on something like this uh, because I have been doing engineering courses and I have uh, not leaned towards DevOps side till now but these days uh, with all the job openings that are coming in the market what I realized is more and more job openings have the requirement for DevOps and th that twin dev roles so people or companies are looking for engineers who know end to end life cycle of software development. So for example, you should know how you can build softwares, you can write code, and you should also know how to deploy. And also uh, you should have knowledge of uh, tools like uh, DevOps tools like uh, Docker, Kubernetes, and all of that, right? You should know CI, CD. So it's no longer optional and developers today should ha have this knowledge. Now there are multiple reasons for this. The number one reason is, like com few companies, a lot of companies, I should not say few companies, a lot of companies don't have a dedicated DevOps team and they expect developers to also do DevOps, right? So so that is uh, number one reason. I see a lot of job list uh, listing highlight highlighting this, okay? And second comes, there are kind of companies who have a dedicated team for DevOps, right? So you as a software engineer, won't be doing DevOps, okay? But you would be writing code. There is a separate dedicated team for DevOps. Now, if you are working in that kind of company, still you should have DevOps knowledge. I'll tell you why. If you have DevOps knowledge, it becomes easier for you to communicate with the DevOps team. You understand their language and you know what they are saying and why they are saying, okay? It's always beneficial to understand the software development lifecycle end to end. Okay, and that is why I thought of this course. So I looked at all the other courses in the market and uh, like there was a gap, okay? I could not see a full stack course that covers uh, all the clouds, okay? Because see, today you are working in a company, okay? You're, you might be using AWS, for example. Tomorrow if you switch, there's no guarantee that other company will also be using AWS. Right, you should have knowledge of Google. You should have knowledge of Azure. It's it always pays you in long term if you know multi cloud, right? Or if you're uh, if you have multi cloud knowledge, and that is why I thought I should fill in this gap. And I also used to get a lot of queries, even I still get today, and uh, a lot of people ask questions and there have been uh, one close group that has asked me to create such a course. And that is when I thought I should go about it because uh, the initial uh, feedback that I got on the curriculum and all, they were very good. A lot of you had mailed and provided feedback and helped me refine the curriculum, okay? So this course is a complete hands-on course like all my other courses out there. It's, it's not just another course wherein I am talking through slides. It, it's not like that. It's actual hands-on course wherein we actually deploy and build projects. And we build projects, uh, we, we build simple projects, we deploy simple projects, or we uh, containerize, we deploy them to cloud. And uh, then we also have projects that are full stack in microservices architecture. I show you how you can build, deploy, and uh, deploy them to local Kubernetes uh, and Kubernetes in the cloud. So all of those things we do. Okay, so so that th that is a course. So like I said, the course is now live on Udemy and I'll also show you the Udemy page shortly. Okay, or let me just show it to you over here. Okay, so this is the Udemy page. This is the course. It's just got live and you'll find a link to the discount coupon below. Right now I have approx 
20 hours of content with a lot more in the pipeline. I'll be talking about that shortly as well. Okay. You can see the content over here from the, uh, like page over here, right? So here, if you come, okay. Uh, this course also has, uh, AI. Okay. So I also cover how you can make use of AI to improve your DevOps life cycle. Okay. And why AI? See, if you have been, uh, building softwares or if you are into software engineering for a while, you would be aware that AI is not optional these days. The kind of progress AI has done in past few years has been phenomenal and it is disrupting every other sector out there. Okay. So it's important that you learn how you can integrate AI into your DevOps workflow. And I've made sure I do that in this particular course. Okay. Also, this course covers full stack microservices, wherein you get access to a pre-built full stack application. So there are two applications that we work on. Okay. One is the normal application monolith. One is a monolith application where we do DevOps, where we implement DevOps. And then we have application that is in full stack architect architecture with front end and multiple microservices running. Okay. And we do DevOps and that as well. So first we start with monolith, a simple one, and then we do it on microservices. All right. And it's multi it's using multiple programming languages as well. Okay. So if you are coming in from node.js background, I'll just write in node.js is node.js background. Uh, there is an app for Python as well. And there is an app using spring boot. Okay. So I, I show you how you can, uh, do DevOps on monolith on uh, full stack microservices, as well as apps that are written in all the programming languages, all the major programming languages, I should say. So it covers all of this. So whether you're coming in from Node.js background, whether you're coming in from Python, whether you're coming in from Spring Boot, it's, it's all covered. Okay. You don't have to worry about it. And, and if you're a Spring Boot developer, you should also know how you can uh, you know, do DevOps on Python apps on Node.js apps. So it adds to that particular knowledge. Okay. So all of this is covered and a lot of good content is there. I show you everything step by step and you learn everything with me. Okay. In fact, the applications that you will be using are hosted over here on uh, Docker hub. This is our official Docker hub profile of EmbarkX. And here you will find all these applications. So you can see this tag service A, tag service B. Okay. The, this is an application built in microservices architecture. And then I have like, uh, th this application, which is in spring Python and node. So we'll be making use of this official uh, repository of do like Docker up repository of embark X in the course. And I'll also be privately sharing with you the source code of all these applications. And I'll be showing you how you can uh, do DevOps on these. Okay. And you will actually be doing it with me. And, uh, that is what the course is all about. Okay. Very less theory, minimal theory. I love going hands-on. Right. And if you have been taking my courses, you would, you would know this, right. And yes, this course is being, this course is a massive course. See, first of all, there's a lot of commitment involved in this course. It's a full stack. Okay. DevOps, uh, full stack DevOps, which it covers microservices architecture, monolith architecture, as well as it's multi cloud. So you imagine the level of commitment it needs. Okay. So initially I thought I'll release all at once, but then I realized, okay, this will be massive. Okay. So let us do it in phases so that I can even, uh, I can release in parts and I can get feedback and I can improve on it. Right. So right now, as of today, phase one is live, wherein we start from Docker, we go to Kubernetes, we talk about microservices and then we go also go full stack when we talk about microservices and then we take everything to the cloud, which is AWS. So AWS is first we work on then phase two will be done. So phase one is already live. So this 20 hours of content that you're seeing is just for phase one. So phase one is just 20 hours. Imagine. Okay. Imagine the depth that we cover, uh, for example, like Docker, we talk about Docker for eight hours, if you see, right? So it's a massive course. It's a serious course. Okay. It gives you real world skills. So that is what it is. And, uh, then you have CI CD, uh, which is phase two. I plan to release CI CD, which is phase two. Uh, along with CICD and Terraform in next two to three weeks. Okay. And I'll boost an announcement to the course students or whenever I do that. Okay. And then the next is going multi-cloud. So from AWS, we'll do all of this phase two, uh, like CICD and Terraform for AWS first. And then we go multi-cloud with GCP and Azure. 
right? So this is the entire plan over here. GCP and Azure will be released in next one or two months. So this will come in next two to three weeks and GCP Azure, you will see both in one or two months. And this is a massive course. So I'm releasing first 20 hours right now. Okay. So that people can start enrolling and people can start learning and start experiencing the uh, course out there. And if there is any feedback, of course, I'm all ears and I take feedback very seriously. Learners who have enrolled into my courses are aware of that. Okay. And this course is available at the lowest price. So right now, as I'm recording this video, there's a sale going on. So this is the lowest price. You will get the link to the coupon with a special discount code in the description below. Feel free to use that. Okay. And if you scroll down over here, okay. If you scroll down, you are going to see uh, our profile as well. Okay. So we do have, if you don't know what Embargex is, okay. We do have a lot of courses and uh, roughly around, uh, we, we are reaching 150,000 students uh, on Udemy. Okay. On Udemy alone with a very good instructor rating. So uh, you can trust us. Okay. And people who have taken our courses have got good jobs as well. Okay. So, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the entire plan. Now, those who are interested, I'll also share the coupon here. So I, I, the coupon code is already there in the description below, but I'll also share the coupon over here. It's Jan 26 best to enroll in any of the courses. So along with this, you all can also enroll in other Embarkex courses that are listed over here. So you can go to the Embarkex profile and you can check the full stack course or you, what you can do is you can go over here, embarkex.com slash roadmap here. So this is the entire roadmap. Okay. This is the spring boot full stack. You will find the Udemy coupon over here. Uh, microservices course, you will find the Udemy coupon here, spring security, and uh, this is Java for beginners. Okay. I have not added this is JPA course. I have not added the DevOps course here in the roadmap yet. So by the time you see this video, you will have the uh, DevOps course as well over here coming in at probably at number three. Okay. So I'll update, I'll be updating this roadmap. Okay. But, but yeah, this is live and you all can use this coupon. I've also given the direct coupon link in the description below using which you all can claim uh, the lowest price coupon. Okay. And yes, the plans for this course are massive. Okay. I am all ears. Uh, and I, I believe DevOps and cloud knowledge is really important these days to all the developers, all the backend engineers, whether you're front end, backend, whoever you are, you should be aware of DevOps. And, uh, this course is specially crafted for software engineers who are not aware of DevOps and who are inclined to learn more about it. Okay. So yes, I'll, I hope this has been useful. Let me know in the comments, what you think about this course, any sort of feedback you all have, uh, anything, uh, you would want to mention. Okay. Or you can reach out to me via email as well. I, uh, like you all know, I read emails and I respond to them uh, qu quite a few uh, have already mailed me in past, right? So you all are aware I read emails. So yeah, that's about it. Okay. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be reading all of them.